There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang, uh, Dan here and welcome to the first of my 30 day challenge videos for this year. And um, what I want to show you in this video is how you can do some of the keyword research which Market Samurai does for you, how you can do it manually yourself. Now, there's a couple of reasons for doing this. Um, if Market Samurai isn't working properly on your computer or um, you actually want to go and understand some of the nuts and bolts behind Market Samurai, then I'm going to show you how to do that in the video. Now, hopefully you've had, all had a look at Robert's videos uh, for today and seen just how powerful Market Samurai is. Um, but again, I'm just going to show you some of the manual processes, which um, or some of the automatic processes, which Market Samurai does on your behalf, just to give you a bit of a better understanding of uh, some of the, the principles behind that. So, let's get started. Okay, if you look here, um, we've got Google's AdWord Keyword Tool. Um, if you look, I'm just going to highlight the address here. Uh, so this is a tool provided by Google to help advertisers who are uh, wanting to create ads in the Google AdWords on the right hand side of a Google search page. This helps them choose um, some of the best keywords to actually be bidding on. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through a quick example um, with a, a couple of keywords and show you how to actually use this tool to collect some of the data manually. Okay, first of all, uh, we need to go here and enter a keyword into this box. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to use um, vintage guitars. So let me just enter vintage guitar, and it's asking underneath for a capture. Now, I actually hate these things because, you know, they, they're, I always get them wrong. It must be something to do with my eyesight or something. HMA. So hopefully that's uh, correct. Let's just go get keyword ideas. Excellent. Now, it, what it's done is it's come back um, with some information. We just scroll this up here. And it's showing here that um, Google's basically saying, OK, you've typed in vintage guitar. And here's some additional keywords it'd like to tell you about. So it's shown you know, there's electric guitar, Fender guitar, guitar serial numbers, guitar serial number, bass guitar, acoustic guitar, and so on. Um, now, these are additional keywords which Google um, thinks you might be interested in. But what we actually need to do is scroll down here a bit. Um, here we go. And it's showing that here's the set of keywords which are related. Oops. Ah, come on. Let's go back. Here we go. So it's showing here is a set of keywords which are related to the term vintage guitar. So if we type in vintage guitar, then obviously vintage guitars is relevant. Uh, vintage guitar prices, vintage electric guitar, and vintage guitar itself is that was the phrase we typed in. Now let me explain some of these columns. Uh, first one here is the keywords, and so it's showing the list of keywords. Um, and the second one is the amount of competition in advertising terms. Now this is not the actual number we're going to be looking at just yet. Um, we actually want to know how many competing pages there are on the internet for that phrase. This is actually showing you how much competition there is in Google's advertising service. So this one, Vintage Guitars, as you can see there's a, a huge amount of competition. But really what we need to know is this term here. Um, and especially, well, we use Vintage Guitar, so what that's showing is there was 27,100 searches performed in the um, month of July. Now, I can't do the math in my head, so I'm just going to get the calculator. And so what is it? 27,100. And I'm just going to divide that by 30. There we go. And so that's showing that there's 903 searches a day performed in Google for the term vintage guitar, which is huge. Now, this number doesn't mean a whole lot until we actually look at the competition. Now, if you remember, um, I think Ed's probably, ex Ed, Rob's probably explained this, what we're looking for is, you know, a phrase which has, you know, a hundred or so searches a day performed on it, and it's got less than 30,000 competing pages. Now, at the moment, we know how many searches a day, um, 27,100 a month, which is 903 a day. What we need to do now is have a look how many competing pages there are. So to do that, we need to go on to Google, and using quotes, we need to enter vintage guitar. Now you notice this is double quotes around um, the word vintage guitar, and what this is showing, if you just typed in vintage guitar into Google normally, um, it brings back any page 
which has the words vintage and guitar on them um, and that's going to be a huge amount and what we need to do here is narrow it down to any page which has the phrase and the exact phrase vintage guitar on so if it was you know a vintage electric guitar there then that's different than vintage guitar so we're going to type in vintage guitar and I'm going to hit the search and what we need to do here is look at this number now, as you can see, this is stonkingly huge. Um, there's 865,000 pages in Google which all have that phrase vintage guitar. So that's the two words next to each other. And if you look here, um, we've got vintage guitar magazine, um, antique vintage guitars, Fuller's vintage guitar, vintage, but I'm sure on that page the phrase vintage guitar appears. And from a 30 day challenge point of view, um, 865,000 competing pages is a huge amount and is definitely not a, a market which we should be considering. So let's go back again to the Google AdWords keyword tool and let's have a look at some of the other ones. Um, so, vintage electric guitar. Now, this is quite interesting. It's got 3,600 um, searches performed a month. So let me just let me just grab this one, 3,600, and we divide that by 30. So that's 120 searches a day, um, which is not too shabby. You know, 120 searches a day—that's pretty good, pretty good numbers for us. So now we need to know how many competing pages um, there are for that. So let's go back to Google and let's enter in vintage electric. Have I just typed that right? There we go. Vintage electric guitar. Okay. Now, hey, hey this is good. Um, if you see, there's 32,800 searches performed for that. Which, okay, we we're on about using 30,000 searches as the uh, 30,000 competing pages as the the number sort of the top end sort of ceiling. But if you're kind of passionate about that market, then you know 32,000 is is perfectly acceptable. Um, so that's a pretty good result. So that's 120 searches a day um, for 32,800 competing pages. And, you know, that's definitely within the criteria um, for the 30 day challenge. Um, let's just go back and have a look at some more. Um, 2,900, that's vintage acoustic guitar. Um, that's falling short of our 30. What else have we got? Um, Vintage electric guitars, obviously, you know, the, the plural and the singular. Um, have we got any others here? I see a lot of these are all uh, very low search numbers. And this is something we'll be talking about later on in the, the challenge, how we can still use some of these um, lower phrases. Um, but have we got any more? And now, and now we're coming down to some of the insufficient data, so there isn't enough searches for Google to be able to tell us how many. Um, searches there are a day. Okay, so right, let's go back up here. Oops, this is one thing with this tool, it just keeps scrolling on its own sometimes. So, okay, vintage electric guitar looks like a good one. Um, as a secondary one, though, vintage acoustic guitar, let me just grab the numbers here. Um, vintage acoustic guitar, that's 2900. Uh, divided by 30. I shall see over this challenge, Ed and I are quite mathematically challenged when it comes to doing these things in our head. So, and traditionally through the 30 day challenge, um, Ed usually um, screws up on the numbers sometimes when he's doing videos and we have to correct them later. But, uh, you know, we're using a calculator today for, for safety's sake. So that's 96 um, searches a day, which is, you know, again, it's okay, short of the 100, but that's, you know, it's kind of a perfect number too. Um, let's have a look how many. Uh, competing pages there are for that. So that's vintage acoustic guitar. And yes, I managed to spell it correct. Oh, did I? Ah, let me just go back and have a look at this. Okay, I thought it had two C's in. See, spelling and math, they're two things we're obviously not good at. And so I'm just going to click this because it's saying, did you mean? Did you actually mean to spell it badly or did you actually mean to spell it correctly? Um, and this has got 28,500 um, competing pages. So again, 96 searches a day against 28,500 competing pages. That's well within the criteria and that's another good phrase to go for. So 
Again, this is just a bit of an overview to show you some of the processes that Market Samurai does on your behalf. And um, again, if you just you know if you want to have a quick scoot around Google and understand the tool a bit more, um, this is you know you can uh, use the Google keyword tool. I mean, Market Samurai is absolutely fantastic for doing this on your behalf. But again, there's going to be times when it isn't working for you properly, or it doesn't is incompatible with your uh, computer. I mean, guys, it's a it's a really really early beta. Um, but hopefully with being able to sh uh, showing you this video, even if you can't get Market Samurai working for you, you can still go and do some of the, the, the keyword research yourself. Um, and Market Samurai provides some other features which we're going to be covered in a future video. And again, I'm going to show you how to do these things manually yourself so that, you know, again, if the tool isn't working, then you've got a, a backup there. All right, gang. So thank you very much. And um, until my next video, um, early next week, I'll speak to you then. There is no charge for awesomeness.